This is part 2 of the tutorial series Material Notes. Even if you don't have the Material Notes add-on, you still can follow these tutorials. I will explain what's inside the notes, notes that are provided with the Material Notes add-on. So I will show you something interesting. And that is I'm inside the Shader Editor. I press N. I press Noise Plus, Add Shader. You see that this is the default shader, so it's a principled PSDF. And I just plug this in. So the color in the base color, the roughness in the roughness, and the normal in the normal. It's quite a simple uh, note, but it's handy and I like to work with this kind of uh, material because it looks a little bit better than the um, default uh, shader. I'll put the scale a little bit higher and I'll be a little bit lower, a little bit more contrast. And I give it a bit more roughness. So for example, I use here the add-on Q-Blocker, that is a free add-on, it's very handy, I love to use it because you can quickly add some uh, shapes to the scene, it works very fast. Now I can copy this material, I select these objects and then I select this monkey press Ctrl L and then make links to the materials then all these blocks get also this material I like also to use um, hard ops but that, that's just uh, <laughs> so it looks a little bit uh, better if these boxes are beveled so let's do that Uh, first I will show you what's inside the Node Plus. So what I did was I have a noise texture and I have a use saturation value node. So what I then can do is I mix the value. I can adjust the value and mix that with the original and then I put that in a bump and plug it into the roughness. So maybe later I'll show you how to build this uh, node, but it's not that complicated. So next one, I add, uh, that's called index random, add shader. I get this node and we can also add a color ramp. For example, colors from the environment. I'll show you what's inside the node for those who don't have the material node add-on. So index random that's just the object info. I divide it by 100. I'll show you later why that is. And I'm using the object index, random and the material index. The colors environment that's a node group and that contains some color ramps. I picked those from uh, pictures, so we have here colors from soil, um, coral colors, fire, sky, clouds, grass, street colors, and beach. So we, for example, we can plug in random, it stands for, um, let's get, it gives a random number, somewhere between 0 and 1. Then I choose one of the colors, for example, let's choose uh, street colors. And now if we have this object, we are going to duplicate it a few times. You see it will generate um, 
variations of that uh, color. We can also, instead of using random, we can choose object index. And now we select an object, we go to this tab, and then we go to relations, and then to pass index, and then we can scroll through the colors. Select another object and change the pass index. And I can go here until 100. So that's why I divided the number by 100 because otherwise we that would not be possible to do this. I copy also the backdrop, select backdrop and change the pass index. Let's go to a random view. And this light is a bit annoying, we place it somewhere else. So we can now select an object and just with one drag we can change the color of the whole scene into soil colors or we can use colors uh, of a uh, fire. Now these colors are a little bit... Um, we want to change the colors, we can do that for example with another node that is called the level correction we add the shader press n and drag this into here so i have to turn all these down and i can play now with this so there are four uh, settings it is a little bit like in gimp like the level uh, editor so we can lighten the shadows this affects the shadows we can darken the lights, that will affect the lights. We can increase the contrast, like this. Or decrease the contrast. It is not that much, but it works often a little bit better than this one, as bright as contrast. Sometimes we play with this and we mess up oh, with the colors sometimes. You don't see it here, but you see it uh, often in the textures. So this is a little bit uh, safer to use. And then, for those who don't have the, um, the add-on, let's take a look in the notes. Go to Level Editor, you see four RGB curves. I just connected them. This one is to um, lighten the shadows. This one is to lower the, the highs, the lights. Increase the contrast or decrease the contrast. So I add them all together and I connect the fact to a socket uh, here for all of them and there is one out. If you want to know more about how to make node groups, let me know, then I will explain more in the one of the next tutorials. Alright?